Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here. So what is the best anti-aging vitamin? There's a lot of interest these days in terms of anti-aging strategies. In fact, now that I'm 43 and I'm at the point where my age occurs to me every now and again, well, I'm going to guess that there has always been plenty of interest in anti-aging, but I digress. Back to the video. And so in this video, I'll tell you which vitamin might be the best for anti-aging. Of course, you can't stop your chronological age from increasing. It increases every second. And your age in years increases once every 365 days. But you can actually make your age go backwards from a biological standpoint. What I mean is that there is a certain average condition that your body, its cells, tissues, and organs are sort of expected to be in at each stage of your life, chronologically. This is often referred to as your biological age right? If, you, if you're doing well, your biological age will be less than your chronological age, meaning that your, your, your body is, is like in better shape than it would be otherwise expected to be given your age. And if you need to make some improvements to your health and your lifestyle, your biological age may be greater than your chronological age. You've probably seen scales uh, that, you, like that you stand on that provide some sort of estimate of your biological age. And of course, uh, you know, you, you throw those scales out the window if they tell you that your biological age is older than your actual age. But of course, there's, there's not much we can do to stop the chronological age progression. But there is plenty that you can do to slow down the biological aging process and maybe even reverse it. One way to look and feel younger is by feeding your body the proper nutrition and getting plenty of antioxidants, which are plentiful in fruits and vegetables. Now the term antioxidant refers to substances that repair damage in your body. It does this by neutralizing something called a free radical. Now a free radical is simply an atom with an unpaired electron. Now let's look at the board here. You'll probably remember back to high school science class. Uh, I've done my best to draw an oxygen atom. We've got protons, the positive charges in the middle. And we've got electrons around the outside. And if you remember, electrons are the guys that, that circle around the nucleus, and the protons are in the nucleus. So in any atom, uh, the, uh, the inner ring of electrons uh, will have up to two electrons in it. So I've got them indicated here. There's one, there's two. And those guys are, are paired together in that ring. Now the next outer ring can have up to eight electrons that would make it a stable that would make it a stable atom if it had two rings it had eight in the outer ring two in the inner ring in this case i've drawn an oxygen atom and it actually has six it's got two paired electrons here it's got two paired here and it's got two more but it would love to have two more electrons in that outer ring to give it eight right and and that's why you'll often see uh, uh, oxygen atoms paired with another oxygen you'll see o2 Right, because what happens is I've drawn another one here. So there, and you look in your outer ring, there's two, four, six, and we've got two, four, six. What'll happen is these two and these two will bond together. That'll be where the bond will occur. And you'll see that they'll share, like this one will share those two, and this one will share those two. And so then you end up with a stable arrangement. In fact, you know, the electrons and how many are in its outermost ring are basically what, what modulate whether or not the, the chemical is, is more reactive, meaning it wants to connect up with, with uh, other atoms, or less reactive, right, meaning it's like more stable. So um, you, a free radical basically is a situation where you've got an outer ring and it's electron hungry. Like it wants to, it basically wants to go and steal an electron from another atom, making that other uh, atom more unstable and also making it into a free radical. Because if you steal an electron right out of its outer ring and, and now that one is electron hungry, um, you see this ends up being just like a, a fusion process, you know, because you end up with more and more free radicals. You know, so unless you have antioxidants to stop that process of, of stealing the electrons, it's like a chain reaction where you got more and more damage happening. And that's why antioxidants are so crucial to long-term health. Now, one of the most important antioxidants is vitamin E. And this might be, 
it could be the most important anti-aging vitamin. You see, a lot of what you see or experience as aging is the cumulative effects of free radical damage. And the biological age, which we discussed earlier, is accelerated by free radical damage. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin, and, it, it, um, and so it protects your cell membranes, because remember, your cell membranes are basically composed of fat. It also helps to reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke, major benefit. And it helps to support your body against cancer, since free radicals play a, a role in cancer development. Okay, so where can you actually get vitamin E? Well, here are four vitamin E rich foods, all very healthy to have in your diet. Eat plenty of almonds, spinach, kale, definitely, and if you've seen some of my earlier videos on avocados, definitely eat avocados. <clears throat> all right, so if your lifestyle does not always allow you to eat the key fruits and vegetables that contain large amounts of vitamin E, or like when you do, uh, it's not always organic, you may want to consider supplementing your diet. Now, if you're looking for a great vitamin E supplement that won't break the bank, go to mybodymanual.com and check out my vitamin E supplement. It's called Full Spectrum Vitamin E. And I gave it the name Full Spectrum because it contains all eight vitamin E compounds. You see, vitamin E is not just one thing. There's actually eight different compounds that really make up vitamin E. Uh, so go to that website, read the label so that you understand what a complete vitamin E will have, uh, and then go and compare it to some other vitamin E supplements that you'll find on the market. What you'll find is that others usually contain between one and four of those vitamin E compounds, rather than all eight. So what you want to do uh, is to make sure that you decide if you're going to invest your money in a supplement in vitamin E that you're getting full support. Okay, with proper nutrition and supplementation, you'll boost your anti-aging defenses. So let's get to it and make sure that you and I are younger the next time we meet.